obviously the change from high school to college was difficult at first, but everything worked out in the end, and I think I got out of it as much as I could. Elka Machen is one of a kind. I have never met another Elka. Well, sure, but I, I meant in a running sense. She's one of Ball State's top distance runners in over a decade, and she's a freshman. I am proud, and I think sometimes you try to downsize it like, oh, you know, it's not that big of a deal, but that's great to where to be where I am right now. And distance running's hard. A lot of like wanting to give up, a lot of hurting, and a lot of just like mental games of like trying to convince yourself that you're you can make it. I try to distract myself. Sometimes there definitely are songs stuck in my head, or just like two lines of a song that just keep repeating. I remember in high school during like the two mile, I would just look at people in the stands, look at who's cheering for me. Just kind of have to get yourself out of the the mindset that oh I'm running around the track. So why does Elka do it? I think it's because my parents were distance runners that I kind of just wanted to make them proud and doing it and seeing them out there cheering me on just made me feel better than any other sport I ever played just because I knew how like meaningful it was to them. If you're curious, yes, she does remember the first time she outran her parents. We were doing a relay around the block and I was racing my dad around the block and I think I had him by a good half mile. I felt like I, I mean, I never wanted to be my dad, but I felt like I was actually good. <laughs> that feeling. See, that's why Elka runs. At the end, when it's all over and you can say, well, I just put myself out there and I just got through that mentally and physically, I think it's like one of the best rewards. Hopefully a vibe she'll replicate this weekend at the Mid-American Conference Outdoor Championships. I think it's more of like, especially this year is um, my coach, like hearing her say like, good job or that's where you need to be or go get that girl. Like, I mean, I, I think when I'm in the moment, I really take those things seriously and I just, Whatever she says, I'm like, okay, I gotta do it. I ran my last PR on tired legs, so hopefully this time my fresh legs will feel a lot better and I can just go faster.